Okay, let's talk about high school specifically. Locker accessories. Look at the school supply list. Did y'all know that almost every school produces this on a yearly basis of what the students are going to need and be required? And a lot of parents print that out and take it to the store and take their kid to the store and they have to pick out all the stuff. And then there's people like me that I look at the list. I find bundles on Amazon. I order them and I show my daughter two weeks in advance what of this do you, you need all this stuff? And then I let her pick out a couple of things that she like likes. But other than that, these are like the required items. I don't want to go to the store and hunt these things down. I'm an Amazon buyer. I just am. Um, athletic gear, sporting sports in the fall, find a mock list online of like your typical high school or whatever um, niche that you're going to target. You don't have to target all the niches. If you have a high schooler and you know exactly what's required of them, do a high school. If you know college, and you've learned a thing about putting kids through college, then use a college list. If you've got young kids, great. If you have preschoolers, they're still back to school for preschoolers. They need, they all need backpacks and probably a, a, like for three-year-olds, I always think they have to have an extra bag in their bag in case they have a, a potty accident and then you have to put the change of clothes in there and the wet clothes. We were always required to send something like that to preschool. Um, so that was interesting. <clears throat> Headphones, graphic calculators, um, accessories for other classes. These are things that people buy on a regular basis and things we want to, to sell.